What is going on everybody? It's Captain Blue Shell coming to you guys today again with our new microphone, the HyperX Quadcast S. We're going to be learning how to edit the colors of it uh, using some software and today it looks like the software we're going to be using is called Ingenuity. Uh, I just downloaded it uh, onto my PC. It says that we're all done and good to go. So let's go ahead and get into it and see how we can edit these colors, shall we? Well, 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 if it isn't Captain Blue Shell. So just a heads up, I did download this from the Microsoft Store. I went ahead, uh, basically just plugged in my microphone, and I went ahead and automatically identified the microphone. So let's go ahead under microphone and look at that. Uh, it's showing the uh, colors uh, real time as it's actually moving. I haven't messed with this either. <laughs> this is my first time. So we're going to go through everything together step by step. And I went ahead and put my webcam over here. It's like a whack-a-mole. Ha ha! You cannot defeat me. Right off the bat, we have our mic volume, mic monitoring, and also headphone volume uh, that we can go ahead and edit here. I don't know why they give us the polar patterns because it doesn't allow us to change it anyway. <laughs> uh, we can only change on the mic, so, you know, there's that. Also, too, let's go ahead and get to the cream of the crop, the lights, the lighting. Over here, uh, we have effects it looks like it's doing the wave uh you know kind of like you see at the football stadiums so that's kind of what's making it uh you know fade in between lights also too we've got our opacity which is absolutely brilliant because if it's too bright if it's near your eyes you kind of need to give them a rest or something you can go ahead and tone it down and uh i mean it's like it's actually real time this is so cool that it's doing this it's a really cool program or you can just go like full blast and it's like ah! and to be honest with you i'm gonna go ahead and tone it down a little bit because it is kind of like right uh, next to my eyes and plus it looks better on my webcam too anyway um let's go ahead and take a look at the effects in which we can add an effect uh, if we want just solid color uh, looks like we can go ahead and do that in the form of orange so we're gonna go ahead and add that but we can also edit uh, the color it looks like so if we get into the dark blue or aquamarinish blue we can go ahead and tone down the light to uh you know to make it a little bit darker or we can go completely bright and go to white too as well if you want it um so i mean the customizations are really really absolutely awesome in this and then we can go ahead and turn the uh, opacity down a little bit more too as well there we go and if we don't want it to go back on the wave we'll go ahead and just uh, delete this off there we go and uh, then basically all we're left is with the uh, the solid color uh, for our effect. And you can really pick, like we said, any color uh, that you want to around the entire color wheel. So that's absolutely amazing. I mean, all of the effects are really cool too. I mean, like we said, we've got our solid. Uh, we've got blink, which is actually going to change color each time it goes on and off freaking awesome cycle so i think with this we can actually change two colors and i think it's gonna cycle through just both of those colors we'll figure that out in just a second and then also two kind of like a lightning strike this is really awesome i don't know why i like this so much but i really do and then we'll you know back to the wave of whatever colors you want probably to go through the wave so guys to go ahead and get our custom cycle underway uh, what we're gonna do I went ahead and deleted the solid color I uh, went ahead and added cycle you know obviously um, keeping the opacity and then over here with color what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and choose the colors we want to go ahead and cycle through I'm gonna go ahead and be choosing a uh, blue I'm not going to be needing these over here, so I can delete all of these over here, of these layers if I want to. Then what I'll do is I'll go ahead, I will put this as light blue, and then that way it's going to be going... If we go ahead and delete these two as well, I'll show you here. It's basically going to go from dark blue to light blue, and those are the only colors that it's actually going to cycle through. But if you want to go ahead and turn this into red, then what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead, it's going to cycle from that purple uh, into the red and it'll just kind of keep doing that and keep going through those colors and same thing here you know if we want green on this end we'll go ahead and do that and uh, say if we want pink on the other end then it'll go ahead and do kind of like this kiwi watermelon awesome little tropical <laughs> uh, color and then if you want to go ahead and put that brightness up. I don't really like the brightness all the way up though. I, I think it actually looks better kind of down a little bit here though too. And finally, last but not least, uh, we can go ahead and cycle how fast it's going to go ahead and go through the colors. So here it's kind of cycling a little bit more. Or if you want to do super slow motion, 
to where we're just kind of like floating in space. Oh my goodness, what's going on, guys? Oh my god. I really like this. I love that you're able to do this um, because it's like I can go for like a really, really like darker blue up to, uh, you know, a really light blue, almost green, but not necessarily, and then go ahead and change that speed. Also, too, let's say if I want to go ahead and have my microphone look like a lava lamp and kind of customize those colors, so we'll go ahead and go into Wave, and what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of these uh, bars here in the middle, except for one. So I'm going to go ahead and be leaving this middle bar here, Everything else we'll go ahead and delete. Uh, there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and switch this yellow uh, for a green instead. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of do it a little bit slow. And then I'll go ahead and put my opacity down just a little bit. And look at that. It just it looks amazing, doesn't it? It's like your own like private little <laughs> like lava lamp in a microphone. I absolutely love this. I really do. And let's say if you want to go ahead and go for like a different blue, maybe like something dark, and then go ahead and put this one as like a light blue and then to green, but you want that green to be kind of like a darker green too as well, kind of down there, then you're getting the full like blue and green spectrum and as slow or as fast as you want to. This, this is really cool. It just makes your microphone look so alive. It's almost kind of like it has like a heart, kind of like it's like almost like beating or something. It's just, it's so stinking cool. And if you really do want it to make it look like a heart, you know, you can go ahead and do kind of like the red, uh, you know, with like purples and like blues and everything and just kind of have this awesome... Uh, just awesome effect going on. This is super, super awesome. I mean, the possibilities are really endless. I mean, you can do the blink. You can kind of do the lightning uh, too as well. Edit those colors. The editing is so... God, it's so on point. I mean, this, we're going from purple, red to an orange to a green. And it just has this just amazing look. I might actually keep this one. I, I really do enjoy it a lot. And if we do, if we want to save it, we'll go ahead and click this button, save the microphone. Look there, the check mark was up there. We're good. It's saved and we can go ahead and exit out of this, go into our games, go to streaming, create content with your own microphone, just looking absolutely fantastic. This is, <laughs> I really do enjoy this. And I have to say, I mean, this software definitely has it going on. This is the thing to get. If you have the microphone, I highly suggest it. Again, it's Ingenuity, N-G-E-N-U-I-T-Y, and uh, it's it's amazing. It, it really is. So I just download it onto my PC, get to customize it, everything else too as well. Also too, uh, with the presets up here in the top right corner. Yeah, I mean the presets are kind of like I guess they're like just like pre-saved or whatever, you know, base setting too as well if you want, um, which we're actually going to, we can go ahead and uh, add, um, you know, like another preset and customize it. That way, you know, if you want to go ahead and save one and then change to another, you're not going to lose your progress, you know. You don't have to go over here under effects and add each effect every single time. You can save it as a preset. And then if you get bored of it or want to change it up or depends on the game, uh, you just go ahead, go under that preset, boom, load it up, and uh, your microphone is just as awesome as you guys are. Speaking of awesome, uh, if you did think this video was awesome, go ahead, uh, follow, like, subscribe, and I will see you on that next bright and beautiful adventure. It's Captain Blue Shell. I'm out.